Hey guys, so today I am going to do a drawing video. Um, I forgot to mention before, but if you notice the lighting is different, it's because I'm filming in the kitchen and the lighting is actually, I don't know if my camera on my tablet picks it up, but it's more yellowish than white. My dad recently, a few weeks ago, like a month ago or so, he actually changed the lighting, like the light bulbs, because they went out and it's more yellowish than white, so I'm not sure why, but I guess there are different types of light bulbs. So yeah, so now I'm going to color in the outfit that I drew for this drawing and then kind of talk about it and go from there. But I'm going to be doing some layering for the shirt because I don't have the exact color. So first I'm going to use BR-104, which is in my... Um, which is brown gray in my touch markers. So I'm just gonna start with coloring for that and then go from there. So basically for this drawing, I kind of wanted to do like a different type of pose and play with angles more. So you'll see like part of this, like this arm is looks a little bit smaller than that arm because I was playing with different angles and stuff like that. So. It's a bit more complicated. Um, first, when I drew the picture, my brother said I drew the index finger a bit too big, so it kind of looked like a knife. <laughs> so I had to like change it and stuff like that. But overall, I think it turned out pretty well once I like adjusted it and drew like different parts of the hand that I didn't add in. So yeah. Um, I made the cat ears fluffier than how I normally draw them just because I wanted to add some more realistic touches to it. Um, before I used to color in like the lips more of a pinkish red color but again it does make it look like I'm wearing lipstick when I normally don't wear lipstick, so I wanted to do a more realistic take on that by just not having that type of color. So I did more of the color that I just shade with, and I think it looks more realistic that way, you know, like just natural. This is that natural look. Overall, for the outfit, I went for this um, outfit that I got from Muji. It's basically just a shirt. It's just like a, those shirts that look like sweaters a bit, but it's thinner. Um, I do have another one from Muji that's a bit thicker as well, but this one is thinner. And you can wear like collared shirts underneath it, so it looks a bit fancy like semi-formal if you want to look like a student muji is more of a like a japanese student type of clothing i would say not it's more formal than other regular clothing though so that's the type of clothing i've been wearing recently but overall i haven't gotten to wear like these shirts outside that often because I'm mainly at work so so sometimes what I'll do is I'll just wear my uniform to work and then I'll just not bring a change of clothing and then just wear my uniform when I'm going home because to be honest it's there's no change room at work so you either go to the washroom or you hide in like this tiny back hallway and change you just close the door so what I'll do is I'll just wear whatever is convenient so that way I don't have to change like that. So now I'm just coloring in all that I can. I'm trying to be careful when I color closer to like the skin like the arm and the body parts that are showing because 
I know, like, these touch markers, they leak a little bit. Like, they spread a little bit further than where you place them. Like, the stripe areas, I'm going to be, like, going over them anyways with the other color. But for, like, the arms and stuff, I want to be really careful because I don't want it to leak onto the skin color and, like, a piece of clothing is there. So in this drawing, you'll see like the hair is a bit longer than the faux hawk that I used to draw. That's currently in my, still my profile picture for like, for my channel and stuff like that. Um, what happened is my hair actually grew. So it looks kind of like a Korean style, more of a boyish Korean style, just cause of the length. But overall it looks nice. Um, sometimes I get disappointed at work, though, because some people actually mistake me for a guy when I'm working. I'm just like, that's, that's awkward. And then the, I'll turn around because in response, because I'm trying to walk to some place and then someone will be like within the store that I work at and then they'll be like excuse me sir and I'll turn around and I'll be like yes and then they'll be like oh sorry <laughs> I didn't know you were a girl and I'll be like okay <laughs> it's so awkward but just deal with it so that's the first layer that I'm doing for this shirt actually because I don't have the actual color like I said before so I'm gonna layer it I have a CG2, which is a cool gray color, and I'm actually gonna layer it on top of this brown gray, so that way it looks a bit more like the color that I'm going for. So I'm just mixing it together, like blending it, so that way it looks more of like a grayish brown color. It's not going to be like 100% accurate though to that color because that color is a bit lighter but at least it will have like gray on it because it looks like a grayish tan color. I just don't have like a tannish gray color. It's either skin color or brown or gray so just working with, with what I have.
Okay, so that's the color. It will kind of lighten up a bit once it dries. Um, and now I'm just gonna use GG9, which is green, gray, and then I'm gonna use that to outline the lines that are here for the other, for the stripes. Just doing this arm first, and then I'm going to move to the other arms, and the other parts, like this part. So that's it for this arm. Um, I'll outline like where the sleeve actually is in my next video. So I'm going to do a separate outlining video and then you'll actually see like where the sleeve is and then it won't look so strange. Okay, and that's basically it for coloring in the stripes. The color kind of turned a bit off, to be honest. I think I used too dark of a gray, but it was supposed to be like this color, but I don't have like that tan of a color. It, it looks okay, it's just a bit dark. And then I'm gonna color in the pants. I'm gonna use a green, since I have green pants that I wear sometimes. Um, gonna use Y42, which is bronze green, and just color it in. And then I'm just going to use G43, which is a deep olive green, to kind of shade it a bit. Just like right there. And then to color in the ears for the cat ears, I'm just going to use a little bit of pink. So P84 Pastel Violet, I'm just going to color in the inner parts of the ear, and that's it. Okay, 
Okay, so here is the overview of the drawing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My next video will be outlining this drawing. And that's it. Bye!